Hi guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you why a smaller Briggs & Stratton engine was over revving out of control on an Aaron snowblower. And here are some of the specs on the engine. It's a 208cc, 9.50 foot-pounds gross torque. And I believe this is a Chinese-made engine. This is actually the snowblower that it was on. I had to remove the engine to diagnose it properly. And here on my bench, I've got the engine all apart and I'm going to show you exactly what was causing this. What the problem ended up being is that the governor gear down here in the crankcase is damaged. As you can see, the governor gear, which is made of plastic, is missing some teeth. And also the small plastic part here in the middle of it was actually off the gear. Here it is. You can see it's damaged. It was laying in the bottom of the sump here. And the governor arm right here wasn't working properly because of that. The way it works is that this linkage here goes to the carburetor. This part here is connected to the governor arm that I showed you inside. And therefore, because the governor gear was damaged, this here was not working properly to control the engine speed. When you would start up the engine, it would just rev right out of control, just like it was ready to pop a rod. And no matter what I did, the engine speed would not come down. I tried adjusting this part here on the small shaft and made absolutely no difference. I adjusted the linkages here from the small holes. I tried everything I could, even tried another carburetor and it made no difference. It's a last resort to open up an engine like this, but I had to and fortunately I found the problem. Now this is a 208cc engine and if you're looking for the model number, it's stamped right down here. And I'll show it to you right now, it's 13D137-0110-F1. These are the numbers you need when you go to get parts. I did look for a parts list online and I could not find the governor gear only as a part. It only showed the whole block with the governor gear. Anyway, my purpose today was to show you guys that if you do get one of these engines and it's over revving out of control, it could be that the governor gear is damaged. However, I do suggest that you double check all the linkages to the carburetor and make sure they are not frozen before you open up an engine. Unfortunately, the guy who owns this snowblower did not keep his receipt when he bought it. Had he had his receipt, this would have been a warranty item because when a part like that fails, it is not the fault of the owner. And another really good tip is make sure to keep your receipt when you buy any equipment. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and Instagram. The links are underneath today's video. And have yourselves a great day.